सो गाइज टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू वन कन्वेंशनल क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम यू नो एग्जामिनर ऑफ डिजाइन एंड पेटेंट्स ग्रुप ए गेजेड ऑफिसर पोजिशन रिटर्न एग्जाम विच दे आर गोइंग टू कंडक्ट दे आर गोइंग टू कंडक्ट प्रिलिमिनरी एग्जाम मैंस एंड देन इट विल बी इंटरव्यू सो आई हैव टेकन वन क्वेश्चन हेयर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू एंड वी विल ट्राई टू सॉल्व इट एंड इट्स अ वेरी फंडामेंटल क्वेश्चन एग्जीक्यूटिंग द बेसिक प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर and see this is a analog electronics question the question mentioned was basically if v1 is equal to 1 volt and you need to assume all the operational amplifier are idle then under that constraint you need to calculate this v0 so you can see this is a bit of the big circuit so the question is not that much complex jitna iska circuit ka complexity bana rakha hai right so you know whenever we are having the operational amplifier given under the idle condition and negative feedback is there we can exploit the concept of virtual ground or virtual short we can say it means the very first step is we are going to say since this is a idle operational amplifier it's a idle op amp means virtual short concept will be available there virtual short concept will be available right what is virtual short concept v plus is equal to v minus means the voltage at the non inverting terminal of the operational amplifier will be equal to the voltage at the inverting terminal and second thing while solving you need to solve the question step wise and second thing before solving the question and doing the calculation you need to mark the proper node voltages and current mark proper voltages and current you need to mark proper voltages and current in the circuit so third once you have done these two step then you can apply your kcl kvl whatever equation is required apply kcl you can say nodal etc to calculate v out to find the v out you can apply these rule so basically these are the three stages in which i will break down this entire question so guys if you can see this very first configuration you go in the stages right so if we take this voltage is let us say this voltage is v2 let us consider this voltage is v3 is it clear let us consider this voltage is some vx so i told you in very first case it's a idle operational amplifier and negative feedback is there it means they are basically having the virtual ground condition you can see this is at 0 volt if this is at 0 volt so this is also going to be at 0 volt reason being because of virtual short condition the potential at the inverting terminal is equal to potential at the non inverting terminal i guess this point is very clear to all of you right now we know in idle operational amplifier there is one more property that i am writing here that property is the terminal current is zero the terminal current of the op amp is zero the terminal current of the op amp is zero or we can write input more specific input input terminal current of op amp is zero so it means you know operational amplifier have infinite input resistance ideally zero output resistance so i'm taking the you know conclusion of that the current here will be zero so this is a zero ampere current so current here is also zero ampere it means and current here is also zero ampere it means so guys now can i calculate this voltage let us say this is the v1 voltage so what will be v1 voltage so this is a network this minus 15 volt will give a drop across some 5 kilo ohm resistor since no current is flowing here we can consider this as a series network so v1 will be equal to minus 15 into 5k upon 15k so this will cancel out it will give me i guess minus 5 volt so this is the answer basically i will be getting at this point v1 will be equal to minus 5 so now i got this point if this is minus 5 so i told v1 plus v1 plus is the voltage at the non inverting terminal so i will say this v minus will be equal to v1 plus 
it means this voltage itself will be equal to how much minus 5 if this is minus 5 then it will be itself equal to minus 5 volt i got the voltage here so guys you need to follow these answer in the step right now if you see this configuration this entire configuration you can break down this if i take this entire configuration this entire configuration can be considered as a inverting op amp this can be considered as a inverting op amp so if this is a inverting op amp i can say this is the feedback resistor whatever the standard notation we had for the uh, inverting op amp and this is the r1 resistor right so we know the gain of the inverting op amp v out or v out is itself v2 since its output is v2 so output upon input what is input input is v1 i am giving here right so that is equal to minus rf minus rf is uh, i guess 50k is it clear upon what is this this is 5k so this will be equal to i guess minus 10 since v1 is given 1 volt v1 is provided 1 volt so can i say v2 here v2 will be equal to minus 10 into 1 so i can say this v2 is minus 10 volt here so i believe now the point are very clear so this voltage is coming minus 5 volt and this voltage is coming minus 10 volt i can write here minus 10 volt so guys up to this point lot of steps we are involved here i just break down the entire circuit into a single problem right up in course step by solve kariyega see why i'm not going for the second page because i need the circuit again agar circuit nahi rahega to main bina uske solve kaise kar paunga right that's why i'm solving here only and you write on the separate page it okay now you know <coughs> we want to calculate this because v1 given guys that's why i've taken this one okay you can see here v2 i am coming from here to here directly because v2 we need to calculate v2 is equal to minus 10 into v1 v1 is given 1 volt is it clear that's why i have took this one minus 10 now can i apply here nodal can i apply here nodal analysis so if i apply here nodal analysis at this point so what i will get one current is this one one current is this one and one current is this one and one current is this one is it clear i have told you people that the current here is zero so can i write zero this current zero plus zero minus of zero minus of this potential that is v3 upon one kilo ohm similarly plus you can say this potential is zero 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 minus v2 so i can write zero minus v2 upon one kilo ohm and similarly plus zero zero minus v out zero minus v out upon one kilo ohm and it turns out to be zero so guys basically this is the standard notation and if i can solve it i will be end up getting minus v3 minus v2 minus v out is equal to zero so can i say here v out is equal to v2 i will write this v out is equal to v2 plus v3 and that two with the minus sign right so you can see here v out is equal to v2 and v3 that with the minus sign substitute the value you will be getting minus of minus 15 so the answer is 15 volt so guys what is the answer you are getting answer here 15 volt so that is your answer for this question so the question circuit was complex one there were three stages you need to separate the you need to solve the each stage separately is it clear so this was the first stage second stage and third stage and you can see these are the power supply see power supply are there to limit the maximum output of the amplifier is it clear since our output is under this range or equal to this okay if output go beyond that then our entire amplifier is saturated is it clear up to this i guess the entire conclusion is done we solve first this stage this stage and then we got these value because these were required only then we are in position to calculate the output voltage and applying the nodal analysis at this point i applied first current into zero then this current this current is flowing toward here then this current this current is here then this current this current is toward here and i know the value of v2 and v3 v3 i calculated this one v2 i calculated this one is it clear simply substitute the value here i'm going to get the 15 volt so the answer is 15 volt 
सो दिस वन वॉज द क्वेश्चन आस्क इन योर कन्वेंशनल एग्जाम ओके सो गाइज लाइक दिस यू नीड टू प्रपोज for the other topics of analog electronics also might be question can appear very complex for you circuit can appear very big for you but trust me if you start solving it with the concept then the circuit is very easy it was given all the operational amplifier are idle it means you can use the virtual short condition because negative feedback is there you need to ensure all the factor and since idle operational amplifier input resistance is infinite that's why i have taken zero input terminal current there is zero input terminal current into op amp is it clear so there are some property of the idle op amp output resistance zero input resistance infinite is it clear if they will have the infinite slew rate they will have the you know uh, basically open loop gain infinite so these all property i exploited here while solving this question so i hope i made my point very clear so guys so this is one of the previous year question so you can solve in this way only three things i used the property of the operational amplifier that's the circuit analysis right thank you